Chip War The fall of globalization in a world where technology is advancing at a breakneck pace. Computer chips are the backbone of our daily lives. But with the majority of the world's supply coming from just a few countries, tensions are rising and trade barriers are being erected. Join us as we take a deep dive into the history of the chip industry, the current state of play, and the potential consequences of this escalating conflict. Will the chip war spell the end of globalization? Will it change the way we live and work? Don't miss this intriguing exploration of the chip war, the fall of globalization. A semiconductor or chip is a material that has the properties of both a conductor and an insulator. It can conduct electricity under certain conditions, but also has the ability to resist the flow of electricity in other cases. Semiconductor materials are commonly used in a variety of electronic devices and circuits, such as transistors and diodes. They are also essential components of photovoltaic cells, which convert light energy into electrical energy. The chip industry has become one of the most important and influential sectors of the modern economy, with major implications for global geopolitics. The U.S. is currently involved in a chip war with countries such as China, competing for economic and technological dominance in the field. To combat this, the U.S. government has taken steps such as passing the CHIPS Act, which provides $52 billion in subsidies to revitalize the domestic semiconductor industry. Additionally, Taiwan's leading chip manufacturer, TSMC, has agreed to build a major new plant in Arizona. Despite these efforts, America still rallies heavily on foreign sources for its microchips, particularly from Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea. This makes the U.S. vulnerable to disruption in times of war and underscores the need for the U.S. to work with its allies to make their supply chains stronger and less vulnerable. Globalization refers to the increasing interconnectedness and integration of countries, economies, cultures, and societies around the world. It is driven by advances in technology, transportation, and communication, and is characterized by the increased flow of goods, services, capital, and people across borders. This process has led to greater economic growth and opportunities, but it also has its downsides, including job displacement, wage stagnation, and widening income inequality. Some of the key elements of globalization include the liberalization of trade and investment, the increased movement of people, and the spread of technology and information. The history of globalization can be traced back to ancient times, with the movement of people, goods, and ideas between different regions of the world. However, the term globalization as it is used today refers to the increased interconnectedness and interdependence of countries and their economies that has occurred in recent centuries. In the 19th century, advancements in transportation and communication technology, such as the steam engine and telegraph, facilitated the movement of goods and people across borders and laid the foundation for the modern global economy. The expansion of European colonialism and the growth of international trade also contributed to the early stages of globalization. In the 20th century, globalization continued to accelerate with the emergence of multinational corporations, the liberalization of trade and investment, and the development of new technologies such as the Internet and air travel. The post-World War II period saw a significant increase in international trade and investment, as well as the formation of international organizations such as the World Trade Organization WDO and the International Monetary Fund IMF to promote and regulate global economic activity. The ongoing chip war between the United States and China has had a significant impact on the global economy. The two countries have been embroiled in a trade war since 2018, with both sides imposing stiff tariffs on each other's imports. As a result, many companies have had to move their supply chains and production processes, 
resulting in higher production costs and slower production times. The chip war has also caused disruption in the global semiconductor industry, the backbone of modern technology. Companies have had to either pay higher tariffs or find alternative sources of supply, resulting in reduced profits and higher prices. This has led to increased costs for consumers and businesses, leading to a decrease in demand. The chip war has also led to an increase in uncertainty in the business environment. Companies are uncertain about the future of their investments as the chip war could last for years. This uncertainty has caused investors to be more cautious when it comes to investments in new technologies or companies. The chip war has caused a decrease in foreign direct investment FDI into both the United States and China. FDI is crucial for the economic growth of both countries and the chip war has caused investors to become more risk averse. This has resulted in a decrease in FDI, which is bad news for both countries as it leads to a decrease in economic growth. Beside its impact on global economy, the ongoing chip war between the United States and China is a sign that globalization is starting to unravel. Globalization has enabled countries to become more interconnected, allowing them to tap into larger markets and benefit from economies of scale. However, the chip war has put an end to this process, creating an environment of uncertainty and increasing production and trade costs. In another word, the chip war has resulted in a decreased level of trust between the US and China, which has further hindered global cooperation. Overall, the chip war has served as a stark reminder of the dangers of protectionism and has highlighted the need for global cooperation to ensure a fair and equitable global trading system. The father of Taiwan's chip industry said geopolitics have drastically changed the situation facing semiconductor makers and warned that globalization and free trade are almost dead and unlikely to come back. However, there are another several factors that could bring down globalization or at least lead to a significant reduction in the level of interconnectedness and interdependence between countries. Some of these factors include Economic downturns Economic recessions or depressions can lead to a decline in international trade and investment as countries focus on protecting their own economies. Political instability Political tensions or conflicts between countries can lead to a breakdown in diplomatic relations and a reduction in the flow of goods, services, and people between countries. Climate change Climate change could affect the global economy, with extreme weather events, sea level rise and other impacts leading to a decline in productivity and economic growth, which might decrease the level of globalization. Pandemics the COVID-19 pandemic has led to a decline in international trade and travel and could have long-term effects on the global economy and the level of globalization. Rising nationalism sentiment. Increasingly, people in different countries are becoming more nationalistic and are less interested in the idea of a globalized world. This could lead to a reduction in the level of interconnectedness and interdependence between countries. The chip war has also caused instability in the global economy, decreased levels of trust between the US and China, and has highlighted the need for global cooperation in order to ensure a fair and equitable global trading system. Ultimately, the chip war is a sign of the breakdown of globalization and is a stark reminder of the importance of cooperation and understanding between countries in order to ensure a prosperous global economy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Let us know what you think in the comments section and if you have any other topic you want us to cover. See you in the next video.